This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. We're continuing to keep track of the coronavirus pandemic. Health leaders say that the declining numbers for COVID-19 cases in Mobile County are over, at least for now. The new numbers are back in the triple digits once again. The Mobile County Health Department reporting 122 new cases yesterday. Now that is double from Tuesday and ends what had been a three-day trend of numbers in the double digits. One additional death was also reported. The number of hospitalized people continues to go down, though. It's down by 11, now standing at 130. The coronavirus pandemic continues to impact colleges and universities across the country. Now, according to Auburn, a number of students are quarantined after four COVID-19 cases were reported in a campus residence hall and a fraternity house. A spokesman says that the university is aware of four students at the locations who have tested positive for COVID-19. The school did not name the fraternity or the dorm. A spokesman says that the students will remain quarantined until each has received medical clearance. Auburn has about 30,000 students on its main campus. The university is requiring face coverings indoors and outdoors on campus. City leaders in Fairhope are halting a tree replacement project. Caught off guard by the new trees being planted in downtown Fairhope, city leaders admitting that the small statue of the replacement is not what they had in mind. Fairhope Mayor Karen Wilson says that she and the city council were shocked to see how small the trees were that lined the downtown area. The city is now working quickly to find a different, bigger type of tree, though, which they're planning to discuss at a Monday meeting. The reason the old trees needed to be replaced is that some of their roots began damaging the sidewalks. Some good news for those who file their taxes on time. The IRS says that it will be sending checks averaging $18 each to nearly 14 million Americans. The interest payments will go out to people who file their taxes by this year's July the 15th deadline, which was extended from April the 15th due to the pandemic. The agency has not said when the taxpayers should expect to receive the checks. Several children in our area put in danger last week by being left in hot cars. First responders asking you to help lower the statistics by making some minor but potentially life-saving changes. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 53 children died in 2018 from being left in cars. That's the highest it's been in 20 years. Gulf Shores Fire Department says that just locally, they've already responded to 10 calls this summer of kids locked in cars. With the hot temperatures here on the Gulf Coast, experts want you to keep a, in mind a child's body temperature rises five times faster than adults. First responders recommend look before you lock to prevent tragedies like this from happening. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 Storm Track report. That's a look at the Fox 10 Storm Tracker radar before 4:30 this morning, and quite the light show located offshore. Storms working their way from south to north, but a lot of them dissipating once they make their way to shore. We do have one big storm located between Pascagoula and Dauphin Island as of 4:20 in the morning, and everything else is mostly dry and quiet. We'll see periodic showers and storms showing up at times today. The rain coverage remains in the 50 to 60 percent range for the rest of the week and into the weekend. Moisture surging in out of the Gulf is going to keep the air humid and that humidity is going to help to fuel the formation of these storms. They can form anywhere across the area, so keep the rain gear close by. Tropics very active. We have Tropical Depression 13 located in the Atlantic Basin and then we have a disturbance in the Caribbean and we have another disturbance coming in off the African coast. Tropical Depression 13 is moving to the northwest at 21 miles per hour. It will become either long or Marco, depending on which uh, whether this one becomes a tropical storm or the other one in the Caribbean, whichever one happens first and notice through the weekend. It's going to strengthen and get very close to hurricane strength by Sunday night and into Monday. By Monday night, it's projected to be west of Florida. That's problematic. It moves into those warm Gulf waters. We could easily see that become a hurricane. It's not known what happens after Monday night where it goes, but that is why we're going to have to pay extremely close attention to it. As far as the other tropical disturbance, the one that's located in the Caribbean, it has a 90% chance of developing within the next two days as it tracks towards Cozumel. And 
as far as the latest track models on that, the models are in a little better agreement. It looks like it might be bypassing our area, which would be good news, but still it will touch the Gulf waters and could accelerate rapidly. So we're going to have two systems back to back that are going to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico and could strengthen in a very big way. Weather headlines for your Thursday. Rain chances increase. We continue to watch the tropics. Heat levels drop on the Fox 10 future cast. Showers and storms periodic through the morning. Heavy rain and lightning the main threats. Once we get to the evening, we will start to see the coverage begin to back off. Here's how the next seven days stack up and you can see we're expecting decent chances of rain and storms all the way through early next week. Highs will stay under 90 today through the weekend, and then we'll get just a little bit warmer as we head into next week. We'll be talking more weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.